In this video, we will see how EMS Smart should be used for improving transport performance. The measurement of transport performance is possible if both export and transport standards are validated. In the main cockpit, you can check your transport performance. Red refers to anomalies, orange to late transport, and green to on-time transport. You can access the transport performance dashboard by clicking on the eye, or by selecting transport from the menu under service performance. In this dashboard, you can find the indicators on time performance, late performance, and the anomalies no EMC, no outward OE code in EMC, no inward OE code in EMD, out of sequence, no origin transport standard, and no destination transport standard. No EMC is related to missing EMC events for items sent to the final destination where they received EMD events. To fix this, you need to check whether your operations scanned EMC and if your EMC events are transmitted to your network provider. If not, they could be held in your local database. EMC is one of the most important events for customers, as well as for the measurement of export, transport, and end-to-end -end performance. Anomalies such as no outward OE code in EMC and out of sequence represent mistakes on the technical level and need to be discussed internally with your operations and IT teams. No inward OE code in EMD is an error on the destination side, so for this error you will need to work with your partners. For these anomalies you can download flat files and investigate them further. The anomalies that occur most often are no origin transport standard and no destination transport standard. Let's choose the monthly view in the outbound direction. By double clicking on the result for the anomaly no origin transport standard for the last month, you can find OEs that are missing from the validated transport standards. In some cases, the operations team may by mistake use the wrong export OEs for processing EMS. If this is the case, you will need to contact your operations team to clarify the correct OEs for processing outbound EMS. Then you need to check if the missing export OEs are registered in the UPU code list 108. You will find UPU code list 108 on the UPU website under the section Postal Solutions, then Programs and Services, and then Standards. Please check if the export OE that was missing in your transport standards is registered for EMS. If this is the case, you need to proceed with the revalidation of your transport standards. In addition, you should check the anomaly No Destination Transport Standard. As shown here, 7.7% .7 of items in March are processed in the destination OEs not included in the validated transport standards. First, double-click on the result for this indicator for the last month and drill down. The listed destination OEs are missing from the validated transport standards, so you should add them in order to remove this anomaly. This requires the revalidation of your transport standards. By analyzing transport performance, you will identify what type of anomalies are generated in the reporting period and create an action plan in order to eliminate these anomalies. For the revalidation of transport standards, please contact your EMS Regional Coordinator.